Hello, welcome to channel Maths Magic. Today we are going to discuss one of the important questions based on geometric sequences. Question says, find the general term UN of geometric sequence which has 4th term 24 and 7th term 192. So over here we are given with only two information which is 4th term of geometric sequence and 7th term of the same geometric sequence. I am talking about the part A over here and rest you can try yourself. So we are having 4th term and 7th term. We have to find UN. So you know to form the general term of geometric sequence we must know first term of geometric sequence and the common ratio of that. So in order to find out these values so let's evaluate this so write u4 is equal to 24 and okay you remember the formula which we have learned un is equal to u1 times r to the power n minus 1 for this particular given value your un is 24 and n is 4 so we can rewrite u4 using that formula so it becomes u1 bracket r to the power 4 minus 1 is equal to 24 or we can write it like this u1 r to the power 3 is equal to 24 now we can write same thing for u7 so now you have learned that we can directly write this u7 as u1 r to the power 7 minus 1 is equal to 192 therefore u1 r to the power 6 is equal to 192 we got two equations equation 1 and equation 2 so you can see that we can further simplify this u equation 1 so this will become u1 is equal to 24 upon r cube so let's better say this one is u equation 1 we can substitute the value of u1 from equation 1 into equation 2. So let's substitute. Let's substitute u1 from equation 1 into equation 2. So it becomes 24 upon r cube times r to the power 6 is equal to 192 okay now you can see that it's r cube and r6 so we can write this 24 times r to the power 6 minus 3 hope you know the basic rule of exponent so it's 24 times r to the power 3 is equal to 192 okay now let me clear on the left hand side so that we can further simplify this given portion so over here we are having 24 r cube is equal to 192 so can we write it like this r cube is equal to 192 upon 24 by any chance can we cancel this out let's say if we have any common factor so i'll start with okay 8 8 3 is a 24 and 8 2 is a 16 and we are having 3 so it's a 32 so 8 4 is a 32 so we got 24 and then 3 8 so basically we got r cube is equal to 8 therefore r is equal to cube root of 8 which is 3 
okay finally we got the common ratio over here which is 3 now we need to find uh, u1 so do you remember we have made two equations earlier first one was u1 times r to the power 3 is equal to 24 and second was u1 times r to the power 6 is equal to 192 you can go back and cross check those equations we can use any one of these equations to substitute the value of r and we can find the value of u1 i will prefer to use u1 over here sorry i will prefer to use equation 1 over here so let me clear this and then i'll further simplify this value so over here we got the value of r is equal to 3 and then our equation was u1 times r to the power 3 is equal to 24 and then it becomes u1 3 to the power 3 is equal to 24 so it becomes u1 is equal to 24 times 3 to the power 3 which is 27 can we further simplify this it's 8 upon 9 so we got the value of 8 upon 9 over here so can you check that if this value of 8 upon 9 is correct or not over here we have value of u1 as 8 upon 9 so if it's correct then we can further simplify this so let me cross check if it's correct or not earlier we had the equation 24 times r to the power 3 is equal to 192 and then r is equal to 3 and finally we have substituted this value of r is equal to 3 in this equation 24 so it becomes 8 upon 9 okay now we have to write the general equation of this so to write the general equation we have to use the formula which is given over here un is equal to u1 is equal to u1 times r to the power n minus 1 now we have the value of u1 8 upon 9 times 3 to the power n minus 1 okay you can leave it like this or maybe we can further simplify if it requires so let's check if we can further simplify this or not mm, we can 8 upon 9 so you know that we can write it like this 3 to the power n times 3 to the power minus and then it becomes 8 upon 9 upon 3 into 3 to the power n so it's you can see this it's 2 to the power 3 and 3 to the power 3 so we can write this like this 2 upon 3 to the power 3 times 3 to the power n now you can cross check this result so by substituting any value from here we have n is equal to 4 so if we substitute n is equal to 4 over here so it becomes 2 upon 3 
to the power 3 and 3 to the power 4. So 3 to the power 4 you can see we can cancel this 3 we are left with 3 times 2 to the power 3 which is 8 8 times 3 is 24 that means it's working we got the final answer over here as un is equal to 2 by 3 to the power 3 times 3 to the power n okay over here i wanted to clarify one more thing that i oversimplified this it's not required even if you can sim you can leave it here that it will be marked correct but it's better to simplify so that you may get correct answers every time even though if you will use the first one you will get always correct answer but it's better to write in this format so that it will be more clear to anyone so this is how you can find the geometric general form of geometric sequence with given information over here key points are to make these two equations out of these two equations you have to eliminate one of the parameter either you eliminate u1 or you eliminate r but I suggest you to eliminate u1 that will make the calculation more easier so that you can easily find the value of r and then you can substitute back the value in first equation or second equation whatever you find the easier one you have to go with that there is no set rule for that and finally you can find your respective answers over here they are just asking for the general answer general sequence but in other cases they may ask you different parts also so you have to be careful accordingly if you still have not understood anything up out of this you can come in for sure and i'll get back to you definitely thank you for watching